Want to take tree hugging to the next level? Grab that really cool outdoor shot, wrapping it around trees and branches. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out two Photo Pro flexible tripods. We have what you see here, the UFO 2 set. This is their black tripod. And then over here, you'll see the UFO 2 Plus rainbow tripod right there. Photo Pro did send me the samples, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in either of these products, the links to them will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging here. Very simple and straightforward with their logo and branding. Now let's go ahead, let's open them up and see what's inside. Here's a look at all the contents for both tripods. You'll see to the left side our UFO 2 set, to the right side our UFO 2 Plus rainbow set. Some similarities and differences, both are gonna have product literature, both are gonna have tripods even though they have different designs. Both will have your Bluetooth remote control. These are gonna be identical to each other, one's black, one's white. They both have the same shutter button front and center. They both include phone holders, but those are gonna be different. So you'll see on our UFO 2 set here, Photo Pro's logo and branding, two different thread mount options, and a very simple spring-loaded design to put your device in. For our UFO 2 Plus Rainbow, this is gonna be more advanced. So we have a fixed position, and then we can slide that wherever we want it with grip up at the top and bottom. This also pops out and it rotates so we can change the device angle very easily here. And you'll see we have a threaded connection option here and on the bottom, but we have more functionality with this mount versus this mount. Other than that, you'll see with our UFO 2 set, this one comes with your action camera mount. So if you wanna attach a GoPro, Insta360, anything like that to this tripod, you will get that with this set versus the other set. So looking at our black tripod here, get a feel for the build quality, the construction. Up at the top, we have our adjustment ring. So we can tighten this in place. Then we can make additional adjustments here. We can loosen or tighten that depending on the angle that we want. And then you'll get a feel for the flexibility of this tripod. I mean, look at that. We can really bend this thing however we want it. Wrap it around poles, trees, branches, things along those lines. So that's our first tripod for the UFO 2 set. And now we'll see the UFO 2 Plus Rainbow. Very similar design. I mean, nothing's different from this portion down besides the colors. So we got red, pink, and blue versus all black with red accents. Same flexibility, right? You can really bend this and configure this however you want. But you'll see up at the top, now we have a different way of fastening our cameras because we have a built-in level here. So basically you just pop this out to adjust the head versus this one where we have to loosen that. And we have a built-in level, a nice little bubble level right there on this one. So that's gonna be the key difference here. How do you wanna basically fasten and tighten your camera in place? This one's gonna be fixed right there and then we can just adjust the head. This one still has the head adjustment, just a little bit different without the level, but we have this ring up at the top that we can use to give us those fine tune adjustments. Now let's go ahead, let's try these out with some cameras. So we have a couple different cameras and devices here. Let's install them on our UFO 2 tripod. So again, threaded connector, it's gonna be standardized for you and your camera, and then just tighten it in place and make any fine tune adjustments as needed. So I have it exactly how I want it here with it fastened in, and then we can adjust that angle, right? So we could go that far down or that far up to the left, to the right, or anywhere in between. It is a 360 ball head, right? So we have that full rotation there and then just tighten it firmly in place, nice and snug. And don't forget, then you can make those fine tune adjustments again after you position it exactly how you want it. So we got a Sony mirrorless camera installed first. No issues there. This is pretty cool too. I've used this multiple times exactly in a configuration just like this where you can hold it and do vlogging and things like that. Gives you a nice simple grip point there. And again, depending on what you're doing, maybe you want to bend it up, down, that sort of thing, but a nice option there with these flexible tripods. So one down, one to go. Let's try it on the other UFO2 tripod. So right here, same thing, flexible connector, rotate it around, 
nice and snug. And then any sort of additional adjustments right here, we can pivot that ball head however we want it, up, down, left, right, all around, doesn't matter. Get it right where we want it, firmly in place. And same thing, position it how you want it. Maybe you want to use it as a mini tripod somewhere. Again, maybe you want to do that vlogging setup. Very nice and easy to configure with both the tripods for a mirrorless camera like this. Next, we have our Insta360 action camera here. So same thing, threaded connector going to be standardized. And look at that, fasten it right in place. Adjust the angle as we see fit. And you're all set and ready to go to start creating and capturing your content with this tripod and your action camera. Don't forget with this particular tripod, we also get this mount option too that we could attach. So say we had a GoPro or our Insta360 with a case on it, then we could do the same thing, slide it in, and now you can easily attach your action camera with its accessories. And trying out our UFO 2 Plus, Tighten it in place, same thing. Get it nice and snug. Make any final adjustments here, exactly how you want it, and there you go. So that does hold, it's nice that we have that level. So say I wanted to have the action camera right here for some reason, capturing content, then we could do that bubble level. So it doesn't matter how bent the legs are or anything, if there's uneven height, we just adjust it to the bubble level and now it's level on the surface. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the phones either, so that's what we're gonna try out next. So again, depending on how you want to configure this with your device, go ahead, attach the phone holder, and you'll see we have a Google Pixel 6 Pro here. This is the largest sample that we have to give you a feel of the range. So then you just take your device and it just clips right in like that and it's time for you to start capturing the content that you want. And don't forget, this one has two threaded options here, so we can attach it the other way if we want. And same thing, we could put our device in. Maybe we wanna take some vertical video here, and you could hold it like that, film yourself or film some content away from you with a setup like this. Again, really just comes down to what you're looking to do and accomplish content wise. And then on our UFO 2 plus rainbow right here, same thing, threaded connector, very universal. So go ahead, tighten that down as you see fit. And then we can just pop this up, make our adjustments here, grab our phone. We can snap everything down right there. We can start recording our content that way. Again, you can adjust the height, which is nice. See so you have that option there. I mean, look at that field of movement. And then don't forget, we can actually rotate this. So maybe you wanna take some vertical videos, make some short form content. You have that option here with this device. A lot of rotation and flexibility, again, depending on how you want to configure everything, but you have both that horizontal landscape as well as that vertical and portrait functionality very easily with this particular mount. And then I'm not really sure why you would want to mount it the other way, but maybe for some select use case, this is of an advantage to you, but you gotta make sure that's not gonna be in the way you're blocking your phone camera. But we can also technically mount it that way as well. It's gonna be in that fixed position here. We don't have all that freedom and functionality within the design itself. Obviously though, with this tripod, we could still hold and position it however we wanted. You can get really creative with these flexible tripods. Here's one configuration I like to use on our vacuum cleaners and wet dry vacs to get that cool first person view and perspective. We just wrap the tripod around the handle and it stays in place holding our camera. Wanna take tree hugging to the next level? Grab that really cool outdoor shot, wrapping it around trees and branches. It has a really solid and tight grip, super breezy here, and it's holding the camera steady even while the tree swaying. Even awkward spots like this fence post aren't gonna be an issue at all. Customize it however you see fit. Capture a unique perspective like mounting it on this railing that you see here. Get those challenging angles with nice grip. And how about a deck spindle? Look at that. And level up those action camera shots. You can even add it to the top of your car. 
Look out, Google Maps. All right, so we got our tripod mounted exactly where we want it, but now we can't reach our device. So say we're using a phone with our tripod, maybe it's on a tree branch, it's out of reach, it's an awkward angle, you can't hit the record button. That's where these remote controls come in. So we have an on and off button right here, just slide it to the on position, then you'll see a blinking green light. Now go to your mobile device. You're gonna wanna pull up your Bluetooth settings. So we're gonna go into Bluetooth right here, hit Bluetooth settings, and we're gonna find the device. So it's gonna be under other devices right here. And you'll see it's gonna show up as BT-4, at least in our case, that's what it's showing up as. We're gonna select that to connect into it. Now we have the device connected. You'll see that status right there with our devices. And let's go ahead and try it out. So we have the camera app pulled up right here with our remote. We're gonna press it and you'll see it's near instantaneous as we capture these photos. Don't worry, you can also use it if you're in video mode to start recording footage right there in real time. Look at that. So we just started our video. Now we can stop the video. We can start it again. Look at how quick and seamless that is using our little Bluetooth remote. So really convenient that they have this feature to give you that control. So as long as you're within Bluetooth range, you'll have very responsive controls. So as someone that's been using the Photo Pro flexible tripods for years, you can see my OG one right here. This is still in our daily rotation in our content creating kit. We use this all the time. I can speak to their longevity. We've never had any quality issues and it's held up great. Now between these two sets, if I had to pick and choose, I'm going with the UFO 2 Plus Rainbow because of this phone mount. It is so good. I use it all the time on regular tripods, not even just on the flexible tripod here. Very versatile versatile, easy to use, and configure. So they did a great job on this. So if you're looking for a mobile heavy setup for your phone, look no further. You're gonna choose the UFO 2 Plus Rainbow. That's my top pick between these two. The color's just an added bonus. I think that's a lot of fun. And we get that leveling option right there on it too. So I love seeing that with this tripod. I'm happy to have that in my kit now. Now, some of you still might land on the UFO2 set. There's nothing wrong with this tripod. It's a great flexible tripod as well. It's just not as versatile with the included phone holder, but this is geared more towards action camera users with the accessory that you see here. You also might like this style a little bit better to fine tune your adjustments than what you're able to get with this setup using that ball head and that lever and level versus just having your little twist star here and then having that washer up top to again really give you those fine tune adjustments so really it just comes down to what works best for your setup